Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, to all the Ambazonians all over the world. It depends where you find yourself at this particular moment that Prince Ayamba is back again, Mr. Hopes, for one. I would like to greet everybody, the whole Ambazonians, all the Ambazonians all over the whole world. Those in the concentration camps in the Republic of Cameroon. Those in Nigeria as refugees, those in the hidings in the forest, those who are fighting on the ground, that is our self-defense forces. I greet you and give you 100, you know, gun salutes for your great work that you are doing because victory is already in our sight. We have gone so far gaining victories all over the places in the northern and the southern zones of Abazonia. So I greet you people with this 100 gun salute. Thanks to even. Yes, we are nearer to Boya. I also greet all the Abazonians who respected the ghost town on Monday and, you know, showed the French foreign minister who came to Boya, that we were not joking. We are serious that we are asking for our independence. And that we have nothing to do with the French government. We are an independent state of Abazonia. And we stand for it. So, I salute those who respected the ghost, ghost towns. I am very happy. Hopes, hopes is increasing every day. Hopes, because with hopes, we will have to reach Boya. With hopes, who will have to reach Boya with hopes? Who will have to reach Boya? That is it. Hope is the only thing that is keeping us, that is making the struggle to go ahead. Even those who are in the defense forces who are fighting, it's hopes that is making them to fight because they hope to reach Boya one day. So, Mr. Hopes is here to throw some light on certain things, you know, to alert you people on certain issues that might happen so that people should take precautions, you know. and. You know, also to talk about, you know, some actions of the refugees in Nigeria. You know, towards Pobias humanitarian, humanitarian action. And also to talk also about, you know, the fact that Ambazonia Will, history will never forget Ambazonia as a state. History will never forget many things that has happened for Ambazonia, for Ambazonia to become a state again. And that Pobia himself acknowledges that Ambazonia and Boya is the capital for the Saudi Cameroon's Ambazonia. So let me just start straight away. But before I start, you people should share and share and share because there are so many important alerts that I want to give you people. So you people should share and share and share and take it very serious. And some of them, the IG should take it very serious because if he does, does not take it serious, he should not blame us because some of us, we see and we hear and we listen to what people are saying. And when they say it, it, can, it happens. So the IG should take this, some of these messages Seriously, if not so, well, it depends on them. Okay, I will start first of all by saying that there are some people, a group of people who are struggling to bring confusion in this struggle. There are some people who are sorry to bring confusion in this struggle. And I will not hide their names. I say, I will not hide their names for those I know for the moment. This is Comrade Ayaba, Joe Ayaba. Because everybody has been talking about it. Talking about him. Everybody talking about him. And at first I, I look at it as if it's just a joke. Because Colonel Vela talk about it. He always called them, he said, Troy Ayaba, he will kill Troy Ayaba, even. I was just looking at if he's a clown. But I realized that things are going deeper and deeper. 
Everybody talk about Chua Ayoba. That is how we, we talked about Milan, and we realized that Milan was a criminal in the struggle. Now Chua Ayoba is there. We saw him. He's good in speaking. And this poor good in speaking. At times he can convince people. And when you convince, convince people like that, you can do anything because people are already confused. That is how Pobia has been convincing people for long. That is how Pobia convinced us for fifty for fifty seven years. When he talks and talks and talks, he gives people 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 drink, he give people shepherd rice they eat. And that is all. They forget. So, Cho Ayaba, as I've been hearing and things that are coming from Ground Zero, that he's trying to spoil the revolution. Cho Ayaba is working with the Republic of Cameroon. Cho Ayaba is working with the Republic of Cameroon. So, people should take note and try to make investigation very fast. Even his trip to Canada. We believe we want to plan for something not good, but bad. So Ayaba wants to rule the, 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 you know, the, the, the whole Amazonians. The one that it should be on his hand. So people should take note, please, I'm begging you for, take note of Ayaba and try, people should investigate and see, and try to tie him down very fast. I heard my comrade, you know, Eric Tato, talking, 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 and some people are going to look at it as it's a joke. If you see Eric Tato talks and it's angry, People should take it serious because it's a guy who has a very clean, clean mind. He does not hide his feelings, just like me also. But I give my time, I take time to study things. But now it's, it is going, you know, too long. Because I cannot imagine that Cho Ayaba, even when they, they started the, 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 my trip to Boya, which was a very good thing, Cho Ayaba, Cho Ayaba even opposed it and said nobody should give money to, 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 to the IG, they should give it to him. It was funny. So yeah, yeah, by the first time to run to Canada, then came back and said, I want to organize a meeting in Canada. So I have a poor company on ground zero that is an ADF forces are killing other forces. So I have a, a problem in this struggle. We should look for a way for, to put to Ayaba in order. This is a serious matter for the struggle to go ahead. People are complaining. So Ayaba and Ivo, the Ivo, the General Ivo in Ghana is killing people. So they should make an investigation on General Ivo. Perhaps General Ivo is also working with the Republic of Cameroon. Because the his action on Ground Zero is terrible. It is killing people and burying them. So rising people, seizing the guns of the, the, the you know the, the self defense forces. So I am begging you people, I you take measures very fast. So Ayaba should be bring to order in one way or the other. Because we are in a revolution. There is a war going on. This is not an easy war. You can see that all Chadians have came. The all, excuse me, all Chadians came. They are now in Cameroon. They are fighting against us in the side of the Republic. The French government is also fighting against us. So Ayaba also lies with the French government. Because that is what I'm seeing. Because there is alleged, alleged, a certain rumor going on that Cho Ayaba, they have to send a lot of monies now. From the Republic, at times you have to send a lot of money to try Ayaba and organize, they have to organize, then there will be a rest in that, <coughs> in that uh, uh, meeting that has to take place in Canada. Please take me serious. Take me serious. I will even put a, 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 an audio so that people can listen. So people should take a go around it. It's better we remain without even unity. Unity. On, 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 in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the diaspora, then at least that should be arrested because it becomes a general problem. So the, nobody should go. Nobody should go. Nobody should go to, to that meeting. We cancel the meeting. Sometimes, straight forward, we cancel the meeting. Go, go. Now the struggle is very tough. Then if they arrange again, we'll we come back again to zero. Start working hard again. It's difficult. Nobody should go. We have, I decided IG should cancel the meeting. That meeting has been planned and sponsored by CBDM. But people don't know. It's only when you realize that it's true. Nobody should go to that meeting. Please, this is an alert. Let me put the one um, uh, audio I just had in today. Let me put this so that people can listen. Studying Cameroon, wherever you are, wherever this information is reaching you, I want you to take a time just to first 
uh, and forward and share this message, this voice record you're getting, this order you're getting. It's because it contains life of people and not, I would not want to lose more people in this uh, master plan that is taking place. As earlier notified to you by Eric Tato, the general of the Republic of Cameroon asking our citizens or uh, prominent officials working with the regime to contribute some money uh, in pretext of helping displaced people. I want to release you this plan is coming right away from the Ministry of Territorial Administration as decentralization in Yaoundé and Intel and Insana from that ministry will release this message to me. Now, I want to tell you people as the message goes, some of the crops you are seeing or uh, mass grapes you see in Batibo are not being carried by like for people who come around soldiers, but it's being carried by some of your leaders. When I asked who are leaders, he told me I have a troll Lucas and team. Some of the mass grapes you see, they are responsible for it. And it's because of the master plan that is taking place. You all sudden cameras are blind on what's happening. You are very, very, very blind on what is happening. And you people need to know this. Be caution. The use of of money has been disbursed. That will be released to Alabatro Lucas and his team for executing this program. And also a position of ambassador and local ambassador in any country of your choice. My fellow Sunday Cameroonians, you people need to know all this. It's not like we can rise and struggle, but you people need to know what is happening. I want people to know what is happening. In recent second incidents, the incident that happened in Mato, it didn't well out successfully because alarm was put or uh, speedily raised. Or those two people were captured, but they were later released. But severe torture, severely tortured. Some are lying in the hospital. Some are lying in the hospital presently. Those were tortured from Mato. Another incident that happened, this one happened, information, confirmed information is uh, came, reached yesterday. Still from the Ministry of Territorial Administration and Decentralization, this person who received this information is not happy about the whole thing that is happening. That, there is a place known as Kandef, I don't know if it is Kandef or Kandef, that General Ivo went there as well, he got some guys who are Cameroon, uh, uh, who, come, uh, who are Amazonian soldiers. These soldiers have fought battles in Munengen, a corner and back of the mountain, as, as notified by the sender of this message, that their names are Otopo, Spirito, and Godfather. They are leaders of uh, the Sokadet group fighting around the Munyenge axis right up to Pako, all over Pako, and some other soldiers of their groups were taken from, kidnapped from Kanda, they were kidnapped from Kanda by General Aibu, taken down to Ekata, to Ekata, beaten, killed, and buried. Beaten, killed, and buried at Ekata. This is what is happening. I want telling Cameroonians to get all this information on what is happening. And the master plan in it, although some of you are already blind and you, you are all supporting fake people. That's what is happening in the Abazonian struggle. And lastly, I want to caution what is happening and what is to take place. The following people, if I call your name, please don't attend this meeting. There is a meeting that has been scheduled to take place in Canada that somebody, an individual, has to sponsor the meeting. Please, if you like your life, do not attend this meeting. Do not attend this so-called meeting of unity. So people who get this information say, no, it's like complete destruction. If you like your life, if you don't like your life, you can go there. If you like your life, go there. But do not attend this meeting. I will call the name. Chris Alu of the interim government, Dr. Sako of the interim government, so Pong Chan of the ALSC, I have uh, Dr. Benisa Akwanga of Sokadev, Bear Herbert. Please, if you have your name, do not attend this meeting. 
do not attend this meeting. And all those that have been given the invitation to attend, do not attend this meeting. This is a master plan that is being run by the French government under the provincial government, government under the supervision of Atanga and Dikon. If you don't like your life or you don't want to see yourself in the jails of the Cameroon, don't attend this meeting. Exactly thing that is exactly in that happened uh, at the Nera Hotel will take place there. Do not attend. If you like your life, don't attend this meeting. So, uh, but your Lucas is behind all this. You cannot be killing soldiers of the revolution, accusing them for kidnapping and whatsoever. Please, Saudi Cameroonians, be alert and know what is happening. I'm now confirming to you also that he is to kill and uh, uh, invest uh, the red dragons at Kupen Maniguba to also kill some of the prominent leaders. I'm passing this information to as well to reach the red dragons of Kupen Maniguba to take proper care and to all Ambazonian defense groups be careful. Whosoever will see this same person coming in a pretext of making friendship with the accounts, please be smart. He's not coming to make friends with you, but rather to kill you people. Be very, very careful. I want you to share this information to reach all our ground soldiers. Send this information to reach everybody in Saudi Cameroon to know who I am at Lucas is and how it is he's working. For the past two weeks, the so-called the arrival target is target is targeting only Ambassador Defense Force and failing to target our common enemy who is at the Bobidu Cameroon. Sunny Cameroon has opened and shine your eyes. Open and shine your eyes. It's enough. Okay. That was the message. A very strong message. The IG should take note. A very strong message. Okay. This message. I will also add into it to try to inform the IG that they should, if they have to even hold the meeting, they should change the system. Let them hold the meeting through conference calls. Those in Canada should be there. Those in America should be there. Those in uh, Africa should be there. They use phones. Conference call and hold the meeting. They call by phone and discuss on phone. Please don't attend a meeting again. We don't want any meeting together. We are in a war. We are in a war. No meeting. Meeting is, you know, modern meetings and conference calls. You form, you are there in your own zone. You make a conference call. You discuss on the phone and there's unity. Yes, we don't want anything like meeting. No people should not go. If they arrest you for there, no, you should not blame any person. <coughs> in short, if you are going, just tell us. Let's start looking for another leaders to put. To start preparing for another leader. You people will be either arrested there or poisoned there. Yes, because you are going to meet, you know, those who have sponsored the meeting, they are those who are going to arrest you or look do something to kill you or to change your mentality. So that is the information. And let me just warn you people. Let me warn every person who is trying to, you know, to, to spoil this struggle that there is no person who is above this struggle. This struggle is for 8, 8 million Amazonians. So be you who, be you the eyeball that are talking. You are too small to spoil this struggle. Perhaps you are even working hand in hand with like public. Perhaps you are even you are not even an Amazonia. The way I'm seeing, you are general Ivo. Perhaps you are not even an Amazonia. We will try to trace your bed where you are from. Because this high happened with also with Milan. We thought Milan was an Amazonia. Perhaps you are a public, we don't know. Because when you insist that they should not send away foreigners and send foreigners and helping to that they should kill and pardon us. You are telling that they should not send away foreigners so that they should be there. You know, cooperating with the Republic to kill Amazonians, then you were suspected. You are General Ibo. Take care. Take care. You are not above 8 million people. <coughs> okay. That was the, the striking information for the IG and for Cho Ayaba. It's a guy I respect. I respected him. Even in 19, 19, uh, uh, 2005, when we had a, a meeting, a conference there in, 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 in Belgium. I respected him, I saw him, he's a good guy, he even spoke with my father, you see I saw him, he's a good guy, but he should not come and spoil the, 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 the struggle at this moment that the, it is it's, it's already getting grounds. 
They should not spoil the meat. They, they struck because international bodies are putting an eye and mostly on him. If he has to speak because he, they, he, he speaks too much and now international bodies, they put an eye on him as the leader also of the, 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 the ground forces. And if he has to spoil the, the, the this thing, it will, be, it will be difficult for us to, 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 to have an independence. So he should take care. He should take care. Ayabacho, you should take care, please. In God's name, we are begging you to call it. <coughs> Excuse me. To call your what so uh, general Algo that he should take care. Try to advise him good advice. He should not be fighting with other groups. We are begging you in God's, God's name. Okay. Okay, there's there are other alerts. All that other other came from Yaounde that they should shoot young male children from, from the age of 18 years above. That if they see them, they should shoot because these are the male children that are now joining, you know, the self defense forces. So every parent should take care of it, of his male child, <coughs> not even forgetting the, the female child also. Take care of the youth, please. We are begging you. These are informations. We are giving you there. Don't clown with these people. Don't clown with these people. Like, armies and the rest. They are out to kill. They are not out to appease you. This one was declared to everybody in Amazonia. It's not to a particular person. When Pope declared this war on the 30th, 30th of December, 2017, it was for everybody, for all the Amazonians. It was not for a particular person. So people should take care. Take precaution. Don't clown with these people. They are killers. And you have seen it. Okay. In my 16, they are mourning a woman who had just been killed. I think it was killed yesterday. She was shot by the, uh, uh, by the terrorists. You see? And he left behind two kids of uh, about less than eight, eight years. You see? I, 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 send, I extend my, my condolences to, to, the, to, to the family. This woman was just shot by string bullets. Because my sister, they were just shooting guns. This is a public people. They come in the town, don't start shooting guns at random. But the Amber boys have decided that this that night, that let me say yesterday, that nobody will sleep in that town. No black public person will be seen left. Anyone they see, they have to shoot him down. That was what they said. Okay, also breaking news reaching us is that Pondu the Bolong. Pondu the Balong. Village a, a village, a locality from a few miles. Pondu the Balong village, a locality a few miles from Muyoka subdivision, Fako southwest zone, is under tense atmosphere as the public forces are about, are all everywhere with about 10 tanks shooting indiscriminately of any living thing that they see. At this moment that we are talking, the, the fight is going on. That is on armed, uh, uh, unknown forces are attacking them also. So there is shooting. As it was said yesterday, there was serious shooting. The army is everywhere. So people should take care. This is to alert the population. That they should look for places to hide. They should not come out. Please. Now to the teachers and to the lawyers. Please, teachers and lawyers are targeted at Amber checkpoints. Any teacher or lawyer who intends to go or to travel from Fako to Meme, from Meme to Manu, Kupe or India or Indian, you risk being flocked. Seriously. So take care and extend the message.
Any lawyer or teacher should take care because they are targeting people who are, who are about traveling from these zones I've just called. These um, zones. You should take care because they are targeting you to these uh, forces. They are targeting to fuck you up. Seriously. And it is even time for all the teachers and the lawyers. We are in a war. All the teachers and the lawyers to join the self-defense forces. It is time for all of people to take arms. You don't sit quiet with work load because very soon it will be very bad. If you don't go now for the training and take your arms and hold and be prepared to defend your, your homeland, it will be too late for you. Because when the war will take a different shape, you'll be running the women give you because you don't know how to shoot. So it is time for you people to, you know, to start training yourself. Look for ways to have your arms with you. Because you saw how people treated you when you people went out and protesting for your own right. They held you as, you know, beat you up, seize your, your gowns, everything. So it is time for you to rest up. Because this is going, it's going, you are not looking at it. You join, teacher and lawyer, join the struggle, join. Train yourself to be armed, to, to, to hold arms, please. And uh, it is easier let you know panic. This um, um, um uh, uh, the Republic armies, they are having great panic. So you push now. We have already warned them psych psychologically. We have already warned them because they are afraid of the passenger boys. They are afraid. Even those, you know, even those the, the, those in Mutegene, they are afraid. On the thirtieth of uh, of. June 2018, that was on Saturday, in quarter one, in Mutendene, you know, the self-defense unit, self-defense self -defense unit, that is unit one of Tanzan self-defense, in quarter one, Mutendene, they gave room to the second unit to take over quarter 11. The Republic government, the Republic, the Republic forces there, they call for reinforcement from Victoria. That is from Manawa Bay and Edina. But those, the, the four trucks that they left Limbe, they came and ended in my fall. And instead went to the park and was sending away people from the park. And they said they, they just they, they just said they will not go to anywhere. That they should they will not go to Mutani and die. Yes, that is good. My champ boys, I'm very happy with you people. They were afraid. They said they will not come. They said they will not come. One friend called. They said, what are you? They said, who will come down? Who will come and die? You want me to, we, we, that we should come and die? They said, no, they will not come. They, they ended there. The four trucks of army, they ended in my fall. That is a good, you know, we put panic, panic on them. Panic on them. That is good. <coughs> On the 2nd of July also, 2018, in Munya, battle between the, the ambassador fighters and the, the forces of the Republic was very serious. Yeah. And self-defense forces free. All the prisoners in Munya went to the prison camp and freed all the prisoners. That is what was a very good gesture. So we have Begging all the prisoners that have been free to join the self defense forces. Let's fight to free our country. Okay, these are not important uh, alert. On the night breaking, the 4th of July 2018 in Boya. On the night breaking, the 4th of July 2018. In between Boya and Kumba, around Mbanga Bakundu, around Mbanga Bakundu, up to Ediki, there were about 300 La Republic forces, troops, 
at midnight along the roadside with their with vehicles and there was no light. They were only using torch. And most of them, most of them were Chadians because the way they're speaking, they were Chadians. They have their own, they go the way of speaking. So black, they are so black and they're Chad Chadians. Or Senegalese. They are not Senegalese, excuse me, or Central African Republic. And it seems as if they were doing something mysterious there. You know, either they were looking, seeing as if they're planting certain things on the ground, both sides, like irons or wires or cables there. Which can be very dangerous to the same reinforces. So please, same reinforces, take care. That in between Bakundu Banga and Ediki, the, you know, the army of the Republic have done something there. You take care. Take care when you are passing that area. Congratulations to the Serbian forces. After stopping the transportation of timber, giving Manfe to Dwala, and finally came back to Moyoka and bent down all the rubber in the factory in Moyoka. I thank you for those Serbian forces. In Moyoka, thank you very much. Another security alert. Self defense forces. Have to try by all possible means to stop this dog. These dogs brought by the French armies from France from having their traces where they are. You know. So, in order to stop these dogs, which the French government in France have sent with their forces in the northwest or the, in the north, northern zone and the southern zone. Not to trace where our self defense forces are or their camps. You folks should look for all means, all means, and buy ginger. This ginger. Buy ginger, grind it, and rub it on your legs or on your shoes, the other part of your shoes. So if you might, if you visit the town and go back to your camp, even if the dog. Is trying to chase you, he will, he will never chase your way about. Try to tell the mothers who are having ginger to help you with the ginger. Or you buy some. Then you grind it and rub it on your shoes, on your food. With that, it's a very strong secret. The dogs will not be able, you know, to chase your way about. Okay, that is a very good. Take it serious, please. Because those dogs, they have a system that they use to trust the weight about of people. That is why the, those French forces are moving with it. We, the Amazonians, say no also to President Macron in his interview in Nigeria proposing federation. Let Macron call back. Let President Macron call back his troops or remove his troops from Ambazonia. If not, they will be killed there. Even the dogs also will be killed. You cannot send troops to go and fight, and you are talking about federation in Nigeria. Is that talking about peace? You are selling. You are, sending, you are sending troops to go and fight to kill the Ambassador to cause more genocide. So, President Macron, I'm begging you to withdraw your troops. Because if your troops are killed, you should not blame the Ambazonians. Blame the Republic. Republic. Because I cannot believe that a democratic president like you, President Macron, you will support a dictator to kill civilians. 
please, Macron, you are the president of my second country. I am begging you to withdraw your troops from Amazonia. You are the president of my second country. I am a French like you. I am begging you. I am begging you to remove your troops from Amazonia. It is not a good attitude. I know you do you, you did this because you want to block the United States. Because everywhere you go, you don't want the United States to come. The United States to, but in this case, I'm assuring you that we have confidence in Donald Trump. Donald Trump will still come and will still support Amazonians. That is the message to you, Mr. Donald Trump, uh, Mr. Uh, Donald Trump and the French President Macron. Okay, now um, I will talk I will talk about the refugees. You know, this, um, um, most of these journalists and uh, TV stations, when they, when they talk about refugees, they call them Cameroon refugees. But please, I will want to inform them that you should never call them again Cameroon refugees. They are refugees from Ambazonia, from the state of Ambazonia. Please, journalists, of the Equinox TV. When next you call or you speak of the refugees, call them Ambazonia refugees or the state of Ambazonia or the state of Southern Cameroon's refugees. Because when you call them Cameroon refugees, it will seem as if refugees are united with the Republic. But this is not the case. They are the state of Amazonia's refugees. That is why their villages were bent down with grandmothers and grandfathers in them. And their children and their university students raped and forced to rule or not or locked up in the cells in the Republic. This is the first time in history that during war, a president that declared wars orders the military men to burn down all the villages of the poor citizens that he has occupied for long that he, he has occupied their land for so long a time as 57 years exploiting their natural resources without the citizens even benefiting something from these resources and finally instead he has to declare war and burn down all the villages and send all the citizens in the bushes so as refugees this is the worst crime i've ever realized that has happened in modern modern history shooting down innocent citizens innocent uh, abazonians at random targeting killings causing genocide in the land and the genocide is still going on more genocides are still being planned by the republic minister of communication isa shiruma bakari and terrorists who are crossing and now terrorists are planning to cross the borders to a foreign country, Nigeria, to refugee camps. 
in pretext in pretext of, of going to give them food and medications and tell them to come back home. Forgetting the fact that they did not want them to come back so that they want them to come back so that they will all be killed. Please, Paul Bia and his government feels that the like public, excuse me, Paul Bia and his government feels that, feel that the refugees are foolish people. But the refugees in Nigeria have stood up powerfully and said no to Paul Bia's aid, humanitarian aid. Because in reality, even Paul Bia does not want to send anything as humanitarian aid. It's no, it's against uh, international law. You know, he wanted to raise money for himself because money got finished. The economy was crippled. So that's the only way he can fool the population to raise money so that they can dispose of the war. But many people do not know. People that are ministers who stole money that are bringing out money. Drink our millions and millions that they stole in the houses. Probably I'll take it and just buy a new car again or do one or two things for the war. He knows he will soon die. He's an old man. Yes. This refugee stood up firmly and told, told the, the, the told Pobia and all his syllables. Thais, he told a strong message to the refugees. In Nigeria sent, has sent a strong message to the killer and the blood drinker, dictator, Pobia, his deals, his governors, SDOs, mayors, prime ministers, Philemon Young, Minister Atanji, the allies and the chiefs, among others, that they do not need any help from, from them. Let me see if I can show you Paul. Let me see if I can show you people the one of the videos. Or the, the videos. Yes. Okay, that was a video, though it was not so clear. That they are saying they don't need the food. The refugees said they don't need the food. They kill them, then they come and give the food. They drove them from the, the villages, then all their villages, and they're still killing the passengers in the side. They come and give them food. So they say no, no to the humanitarian aid from the Republic of Cameroon. They say no, no, no is no. And you will see that uh, there are certain people also in Kumba who will go and stand and be camouflaging that they, they are receiving gifts from B, from the B, that is the, 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 the armed forces. 
of the Republic. In Mabanda Kumba, they be give basic commodities to the population. But it should be noted that those who were collecting the commodities in Mabanda Kumba were all family case. All the people were collecting it are family case. The Red Amazonia cannot collect anything from, from the Republic Army. So all those people were family case. If you like, you go and make findings. Because in Mabanda, it's only family case who were living there. They were there. They were planned to come there and say that they, so that they should pretend that, you know, the the population is working with the army because they saw the self-defense forces were giving give giving food to uh, the refugees to uh, in the bushes those in the bushes so they also had to do the same to you know fool the population but let me tell you those were barbecue people planned that they should come because barbecue are not with the Amazonians. they were the people who were there you should take note but we are warning every person who is against the struggle that you should be very careful if we lay hands on you yeah you yourself you know where we are will keep you even the senator ote andrew mufa that is konya subdivision also gave gifts it should be noted that senators are not different from Atanganji, who kill youths in Mecca Star Hotel. So all those gifts they are giving you, take care. When they come to give you is senator is who is who, please don't receive it. Leave the Bambi people to take it. If you have to die, all Bambi people will die. Don't take it. Ambassador should not take it. Any Ambassador want to see the independence of Ambazonia, you know, on that day. They should not follow this like for piggy. It will kill you. You will not see the independence. Because they know we are closer to the independence. So they are try, trying to kill as many as they can kill. Okay. I would like to inform some people who are Amazonians and they are still behind that for pig that they should take note that we are reaching the turning, turning point in this struggle. The turning point is the point where we have to be in Boya by love or by force. We have to be in Boya by love or by force because of, you know, my trip to Boya, which will be coming very soon. And so, we are at the turning point of this struggle. The whole world is against Paul Bia and the ministers and prime ministers and his armies. Hence, the chiefs, the allies, and all those Amazonians who are behind Paul Bia supporting him like the ship should think it wiser and change their mind now and join. You think it wiser. Either you apologize to the Amazonia now and denounce Pobia now, or you people will not so long remain refugees in the Republic as we wish Boya. You people should think it wiser because when we reach Boya. If you don't apologize now and denounce Paul Bia and denounce the war, denounce the genocide, you will remain refugees. Not so long, one will be in Boya. Paul Bia confused you people instead to fight for your home, land, where you people were born, you are fighting for the foreign land, the Republic. Instead of you supposed to fight for your own homeland where you were born, your great grandfather were born, you are fighting for the dictator's own land. Chief Mukete has refused the money Pobia sent to him. 
Let the other chiefs also refuse the money because send money now so that you carry out missions. Send the money, the Mukete has refused. Because those pulling those small monies, they are killing their own people. So Chief Mukete have final refuse. This IG listen carefully. Listen carefully. Akere Muna is a surrogate of Lipopic. And he is serving a political party. The Muna's family has a very bad record in the Abazonia's history. Their late father worked with the dictator for long. That is S.D. Muna. Late S.D. Muna. He now is also working. That is Akele Muna now is also working with La Republic. With Paul Bia. He does not consider himself as an Abazonia. Since the war started, and the killing and the, the burning of the villages, he has not condemned Paul Bia on the genocide being carried out by the Republic armies. Why is he so strong? Why is he strong in saying that he wants to defend Alida Sisoko, Sisoko Alida and his cabinet? This man is just out for monies. He comes closer to us, is for monies. Politicians are all thieves, they are always for monies. So people should take care. He is working bad with Lanko Peak. So people don't expect anything to come out good from the case. Okay, I will assure you that the state of Abazonia will never be together with the Republic. The state of Abazonia will never be together with the Republic. In any other history, that will happen. Because there are also many, so many histories that will happen with, with time. That is why we have the ancient history and we have the modern history. Even though the French have sent their troops <laughs> they will never win us. Nobody can win us. We are Spartan. We we'll die but never surrender. We are Spartan. We we'll die but never surrender. The, the French people don't have the strength to fight wars. That is why even the, in the franco prussian wars, they have never won any battle. <laughs> so you push nothing away. The French can be afraid because they have that color. They will never do anything. So... Our victory is in our hands and we must have it. We must have that victory. Okay, let me talk a little bit and talk about uh, Pobia. Pobia the dictator, he himself, in his speech, son mouth. He said about Abazonia or the southern Cameroon will never be forgotten in history. And Boya, the capital, will never be forgotten. Yes, that is what Pobia said. And when he said that, he's not that one day we will also tell him a state will remain a state. Southern Cameroon, Abazonia. Yeah. The dictator Pobia, in his speech, said some years ago, when he visited the capital of Boya, when he visited the capital of Southern Cameroon's Boya, he said history will not forget that Boya was the headquarters of Southern Cameroon. History does not forget that Boya was the capital of Southern Cameroon's. History does not forget that Boya 
was once the capital of German Cameroon. Let me just let me just put on the video so that people can hear, please. ago and that is why we are now coming back to you know the capital Boya because he said it that he still never forget so now we also have, we have not forgotten that is why we are coming back to Boya okay it should be noted that since Pobia does not speak English and the speech was just written and given to him to read he was echoing what will happen in the future. Now history has not forgotten what Paul Bia said in Boya. Okay. So anybody who doubt that we shall be in Boya should listen to this speech. Be you in the Republic or in Amazonia, France, Britain, or any anywhere listen to this speech. Look at the speech. It's probably he said who we'll used his own mouthpiece to say it. Now, I will make my own speech also to tell Pobia that he thinks that history will not forget also. History will never forget that Southern Cameroon. History will never forget that Southern Cameroonians has been slaved. Southern Cameroonians have been slaves to the Republic. For 57 years. History will never forget that for so long as time, for
for so long a time as 57 years, the Republic exploited Saudi Cameroon's natural resources such as timber, petrol, gas, banana, cocoa, tea, gold, rubber, palm oil, etc. Without the Saudi Cameroonians or the Abazonians profiting anything, even the Republic citizens did not profit from all this exploitation. History, we will never forget that when the teachers, the lawyers from Saudi Cameroon demanded for their basic rights in, 1960, in 2016, they were beaten by the occupational troops of the Republic and others jailed in prison in Yaoundé by the dictator, President Pobia. History will never forget that when Abazonia University students were carrying out peaceful protests for their rights, they were beaten, arrested, girls raped, and some killed, others imprisoned. History will never forget that during the Kovun Revolution, BBC Manchu, Ken Terence, and others were arrested and jailed in prison while protesting peacefully, asking for better living conditions. History will never forget that Ayapol the Supreme Court President in the Republic and Barista Agbobala and others and other consortium members were arrested and the consortium was bound and they were locked up in the prison in Yaoundé and after a long time re released without charges. History will never forget that on the 10th of February 2018, our president, excuse me, on the 5th of January, I think, on the 5th of January 2018, our president, his government, and 37 others were adopted in Nara hotel in Nigeria after a group of fake Amazonians in the diaspora among whom were Atam Milan, B. Navlova, Manga, Sosenskomo were bribed by the Republic government organized by Atanji Paul Nji and Isa Shuruma Bakari and were extradited to the cell in the Republic and held in Comicado for six months or seven months without anybody seeing them, even their lawyers or their families members. History will never forget that the dictator President Pobia declared war on the state of Abazonia on the 30th of November on the on armed Abazonia citizens and these Abazonia citizens were to defend themselves and their neighborhood at any means. History will never forget or history will be remembered that on the 1st of October 2017 all the Abazonians went out with peaceful plans to celebrate their independent day and Paul Bia ordered his forces of occupation to crack down on the Ambazonias and their and many were killed and many arrested. History will never forget that as once as the dictator declared war, the SDO, the DOs, told the Ambazonias citizens to leave their villages and most of 
they are, and most of them escape to Nigeria to seek asylum, and other escape, and others escape to the forest, and all their villages were bent down with their, with those who cannot walk, such as the sick and the and the old people. History, history will never forget. Targeting killings is being carried out in Abazonia by the Republic forces of occupation. This has led to genocide. History will never forget that the Republic, French, Britain, United Nations are responsible for the killing of the Ambazonians and also that all the killings and genocide that the world stood up quiet and watched the genocide being carried on by the Republic for so long. I repeat, history will never forget that the Republic become your own. France, Britain, and the United Nations are responsible for the killings of the Ambazonians and also that all these killings and genocide was taking place while the world stood quiet and watching. As this genocide was taking place, the world stood quiet, the world stood quiet and was watching for so long a time. History we also remember the world that Antanganji collaborated with with the fund Asobo Pius Ngu of, Man, Man, of Menka and his son Asono Kletus, owner of the Star Hotel in Menka, with the secret forces of the Republic sent by Isa Shoruma and Didi Bajep, the colonel, commander of the opposition forces in Abazonia, to shoot down close to 41 Abazonia youths in Menka on the 24th, between 24th and 25th of May 2018. History will also Tell the world that the Ambazonians were fighting a war declared on them by the dictator Paul Bia, who has been in power in La Republic for close to 44, 42 years. His term of office as Prime Minister, inclusive, under President Ayijo. And in most of the battles, the Republic occupied occupying forces used modern weapons given by American government under the presidency of Donald Trump to fight Boko Haram. And these battles and these weapons were used, were instead used now to fight the Amazonians, citizens who were armless. And in most of the battles, the Amazonians, self defense forces, became victorious. History will never wipe out the fact that the chiefs, allied prime minister, ministers, SDO, DOs, mayors, Parliamentarians, senators, etc., such as Atanganji, Chief Mukete, Ndoki Mukete, um, Elvis Ngole Ngole, Fon Angofo, um, Fon Asobo Pius, and his son, Asano Kletus, Chief Tabetando, Peter Mafani, among others, work hand in hand with Paul Bia to cause genocide in Amazonia. History 
will also never history will also history history will not always will also blame President Macron. History will also blame President Macron for sending French troops to Ambazonia to fight alongside the Republic forces, the Republic Cameroon forces, as seen in Mbengui and Belo and in the Southwest zones. And Al Haji Baba Dan Polo, the richest man in Africa after Dangote in Nigeria, launched French troops at his residence in the northern zone. He still never forget this. He still never forget this that the, the French troops came and we're fighting hand in hand with the dictator. Dictator. The dictator of Paul Bia. French troops sent by Macron. And let me see if I can show you the video. If you can, I can get it to the video to show you. The French troops on the ground. That that is the French. Although it's not clear, that is the French troops in Bengui, in Belo. You can just see for yourself. You will see one of the armies moving beside the armor cars. It's a French. It's a white man. The French white man. Although the video is not clear, you should just look at it. That is the work of, you know, the French government. Since they want to steal, they have already exploited a petrol, a timber, for over 57 years. All our natural resources, cotton, banana, cocoa, everything for 57 years is not enough. We want to be independent. They have sent again troops to come and, you know, fight so that they can continue to be exploiting our resources. They will say no. Those are the French troops. They are already there with their, with their dogs. They have their dogs also. Okay, as you watch the video, just although it's not too clear, I continue. History will not forget that French troops from France are in amber soil. But they want to mount their ties because they want to mount their ties with the Republic, their slave, so that the French government in France should continue, you know, to exploit the natural resources from the Ambas land. That is history will never forget that these people are there in the you know in the amber soil it's only to straighten their ties with the republic under president paul via so they can win the war with the ambazonians for the ambazonia win the war against the ambazonians so that they can still be exploiting all the resources everything taking it to france history will not forget that most humanitarian rights international you know amnesty international has condemned the genocide being carried out by the dictator by the dictatorial government of president pobia history will also constantly remind the world that the americans the britain syndicate and parliament held a session and called on the government of the dictatorial regime of President Paul Bia to call for change dialogue to trace the root cause of the war. But the dictator gave a deaf ear. 
history. We will never forget that when the American ambassador to Cameroon, Peter Henry Valori, in May 2018, advised the dictator Paul Bia, who had been in power for close to 47, 40, 41 years, to resign and have a rest and have dignity. The citizens of La Republic threatened to kill him if he came back to La Republic. And they insulted the U.S. citizens and their president, Donald Trump. So, as I will tell you people, this award history will not forget. And to finally conclude the part of history will not, connect, will not forget, I will say finally, when we will be in Boya, not so long from now, history will not forget that all the Abazonians are present now in Boya singing the national anthem as they regain their country from the colonial masters under President Paul Bia, colonial masters of the Republic and the French government in France. Okay. That was that for history, we'll never forget. Okay, then I come now to a small interview that um, that took place, you know, Equinox TV. That is Mr. Charles Nana was interviewed with Econos TV and the Inside Day Sunday, that is the title of the interview. The Inside Day Sunday, July 1st, 2018. You said Cameroon has better days. That is Mr. Charles Nana. You said Cameroon is, has better days or best days ahead. Whoever told you that for 57 years after independence, it seems you have not learned the life of the citizens of life of Cameroon. The system is in their bones and their bloods. Do not say that again in any TV center. The best day you are saying. It's just your own personal dream. But for me, it is the worst day for the Republic and the best day for the state of Amazonia. That lies ahead. I say this because I am assuring you this evil regime of phobia and the CPDM government has so many differences to settle after the Amazonia self defense fighters take us to Boya and we become a free and total independent state of Abazonia. The government and the party has to settle the problems with the public case and the passers who are killed in the 1960s. After this, the losers have to revenge the aftermath of the Epresis coup d'etat during and after the coup d'etat. Many Muslims and Aouzas were killed and others imprisoned by President Ayijos. Cops, others imprisoned and President Ayijos' cops was abandoned in Senegal. Finally, Boko Haram in the north which best days are you talking of in the future? If for 57 years, we the Ambazonians let the Republic to exploit our raw materials, all, you know,